Last night, Sheffield Eagles signed Peter Tunks from Salford and he takes his place in the Sheffield front row. Referee for today's game is Mr Oldsworth from Kipax. And it's Warrington now who's kicked off. And it's Sheffield now, they've got the ball in their own 25 and they're bringing it away. Sonny Nickel had a storming game down at Sheffield earlier in the season when he scored two tries against Warrington but he couldn't prevent Sheffield getting beat. Here's Peter Tunks, his first touch. Good acquisition, this lad, for Eagles. Experience, big Australian. Here's the other prop forward, Hugh Waddell. So, Eagles now making yardage now. Still in their own half. Look for the kick here. Pace, Gary Pace, the ex old winger. But Desi Drummond and David Lyons have got it well covered. And Lyons comes on the overlap and he gets him running. Great start for Warrington. Good play by David Ly Ellis. Ellis has opened up now. He's got young Michael, but good cover tackling. Michael and Nelson. So Warrington now on the attack. Turner. Turner's long pass to Farley, but Farley loses the ball and the referee had judged it to have gone forward. Well, what a start for Warrington. Long kick by Pace was collected by Desi Drummond. David Lyon come on the outside and Drummond timed the pass to perfection to set Lyon on the run. But the cover was there. Michael and Nelson. And then Warrington went on the other flank where Farley just couldn't get the pass out to Mercer. So scrum down. That referee not happy with that. It's Sheffield's head and ball just on their own 25. Mr Olsworth wants them to re-scrum. The scrum collapsed there. Noting Tony Farrell, who they signed from Huddersfield from a wing position, is playing loose forward today. So, Eagles, Powell, who had a good game yesterday for Britain. Good play now by the scrum half, but... It's still going, Panapa. Panapa releases it to Andrew Young. But the cover's there. David Lyon and Desi Drummond bring him down. But Eagles now first touch into Warrington territory. It's Ian Russell, Australian. Had a good game at the Sheffield ground earlier in the season. Playmaker, Peter Tunks. Watch for him unloading in the tackle. But Warrington read it. And Turner and McGinty hold him down. Cook. Waddell, Waddell going strong, got Farrell in support, but can unload again the tackle there from Warrington, this time Jackson and Turner. So, Cook, Cook to the scrum half. Gamson, Gamson a long ball to Powell, Powell goes back the other way, sets it back to Nickel, but Nickel's well shepherded. And the last tackle shouts Mr Oldsworth. Sheffield not getting anywhere, it is Gary Pace. watch for this little kick, smart little kick, but Desi Drummond and Kevin Ellis are there, and Kevin Ellis takes it. But he's tackled, so Warrington in possession in their own 25. Drummond dummies it to Lyon and goes on his own. He shoves off Ian Russell, but good job for them. Gamson was there. Neil Armin, playing well above his weight lately, Neil Armin. He makes it to the 25. Warrington abusing the forwards now. Go the other way. Bob Jackson, Bob Jackson sees a gap. Good running by Jackson. He's got Turner coming up. Goes round, but good play again by the Eagles fullback Michael. No support for Bob Jackson. O'Sullivan now, Warrington switching it. Overlap on the side, Farley. Again, he doesn't pass. Been better letting that ball go to Mercer. And here's the old trick again. Interfering to play the ball. When will players learn? So Warrington get the first penalty of the afternoon. Again, Tony Farley had plenty of room there. If he'd have let that ball go to Mercer, I'm sure Mercer would have finished it off on the try line. But Farnley decided to stick again. I'm sure Brian Johnson's got a word with him and tell him it's teamwork. Get rid of that ball, lad. So, Rocky Turner takes the responsibilities of the goals today. About 30 yards out, 10 yards in from the far touch line. Quite capable of kicking it on his day, Rocky. If this one goes over, lots of confidence to the young lad. So, Warrington a chance to put the first score on the board. Four minutes play. Turner looks a good one. That's a good goal, but waved away by the touch judges, so the score stays. Warrington nil, Sheffield nil. Referee stops the clock. Touch judge wants a word here. And can having a word with a spectator there, are the ball boys. Oldsworth's going across. He's having a word with the ball boys. I don't know what they've done, but he's looking like he's giving them a lecture. He's telling them. He's not showing them the yellow card anyway. He's staying on the field. They're not being sin-binned, so... John Oldsworth comes back onto the field of play and gets ready to start the clock. Looks at his touch judges, checks everything's on and tells the clock get going. As Sheffield restart with a 25 drop. Gary Pace, long one. David Lyons, O'Sullivan there. 
Mercer takes it. So Mercer's first touch. Big strong lad this. Mercer comes running down the middle, but he can't get round Tony Farrell. Good tackle by Farrell and scrum half Gamson. Bateman going. Bateman, good run by Bateman. Good pass by Ellis. Just couldn't get his pass out. So Warrington again going, switching the other way. Now O'Sullivan, Gregory. But Gregory runs into Nickel and Farrell. No way through for the Warrington captain. Midway between the Warrington 25 and halfway as Neil Armand takes up the running again. He's tackled. Ian Russell brings him down. Warrington now is Dwayne Mann. Good kick. Had a good kicking game at the Boulevard last week, but unfortunately Warrington couldn't come away with the two points. So the young fullback, Michael, getting some good reports from around the rugby league grounds, this lad. So Mick Cook comes on his own. Kevin Ellis telling Oldsworth, did you see that? He was holding me back, but Oldsworth don't want to know. Hugh Waddell, good strong run, but Bob Jackson's there along with Mike Gregory. Looks similar, these two lads. But luckily for us today, they're not. Jackson's not wearing the headband. Here's Peter Tunks, big Aussie. Played for Salford. Sheffield signed him midweek from Salford. Powell gives it into Nickel. This is a ploy to use regular with Powell opening up a gap and Nickel running onto it. But Warrington closed it right down. Last tackle now. Eagles on the halfway line. Look for Gary Pace. No, it goes the other way. Tunks switches it. Good play by Tunks. K clever kick by Michael. Sheffield offside, but good play by Lyons. And he comes away from his line. So Warrington to come away. Desi Drummond lying on post straight behind the line. Good running by Bateman. Eagles offside, but referee having no do with it. And now it's up to Gary Mercer. He comes storming through, and it's a dropout for Warrington. Fans not happy with the referee. Sheffield were definitely offside. Supposed to give a player 10 yards when they were kicked, but the number seven, Mark Gamson, give David Lyon nothing. But John Olsworth let him get away with it. So, so much for that rule of 10 yards. So, Warrington now pending their own line. And Rocky Turner has to drop out from between the sticks. Sheffield get the ball back here. And Turner, bit of a douchey kick. And the scrum half is there. Gamson. Gamson gives it to Young. Young comes forward, but there's no way through. Ellis is there and McGinty in the tackle. 30 yards out now. Eagles, six tackles. See what they can do. Pace, Nickel. Nickel has to go on his own. He can't unload. He had an overlap there. Good play by Warrington. So, Sheffield getting all possession in these early 10 minutes. Here's Russell, good lad this, an Australian Aborigine, good lad. I'm impressed with this lad when I seen him at Sheffield. Here's Pace, little chip by Pace, but it looks well covered by the opposite one, Kevin Ellis, and he does extremely well to get up. So from one ex rugby union to the other, must say Gary Pace looks like he's put a bit of weight on since he's been at Sheffield. Must be them pies. So. Bob Jackson does the wise thing and comes away from a play the ball. No, it's Mike Gregory. Fans shouting for Sheffield, get on side. Neil Armand runs into both forwards, Tunks and Waddell. So Warrington now is the kick from... This time it's Rocky Turner. Looks like Andrew Young and David Michael, but Michael leaves it to Young and Young comes forward. McGinty's there. Good play by the winger, but good defence by Warrington. Farrell. Paddle, loose forward. I can see why Sheffield's playing him at loose forward. Now he seems to put on a lot of weight, this lad. I remember him on the wing at Uddersfield. He was known as a speedster, but I can guarantee he's not a speedster right now. Is Waddell gets it unloaded to his hooker. Good backing up by Cook. That's what I mean with these two props. Not, not Warrington's not got to let him get rid of the ball in the tackle. So, here's Tunks. Tunks this time. Trying to run low to Russell. Gets a lovely pass to Russell. But the pass goes behind. And Michael drops on the ball. Desi Drummond was thinking of kicking that, but held off at the last minute. Powell is Waddell. Well forward, but again, Sheffield get away with it. Bateman intercepts. Good play by Bateman. Breaks the Sheffield attack down and puts Warrington now in possession on the halfway line. Warrington fanning it out now. The fans know there's a big gap. Good play. Gets Mercer running, but Nelson's there with a tackle on Mercer. Good Good tackle by Nelson. Good play by Warrington. Warrington now switching it to the other wing. Mike Gregory tells a dummy. Goes one way, but unloads to McGinty. But McGinty can't unload. He had fallen in support. So Warrington, Turner acting half-back. O'Sullivan, Ellis. Ellis has got 
Turner, but Turner unloads brilliantly. Looks like Bateman could go in here. But a bad pass. And play on backwards, says the referee. Well, terrible finish by Alan Bateman. I think he could have done better than that, but Sheffield breathe again. But good football and a good pass from Rocky Turner in the tackle. So, Eagles doing sensible thing. One man rugby coming forward. No fancy stuff in their own 25. Here's Nick Nickel. Nickel having a run. Not often you see him running from acting half back. Usually a strong second row running forward. But not on this case. So Russell, watch for the kick again. Here's Tunks, Tunks. He'll have to go down with the ball. No, he slips it out the back passage and waddles there. But O'Sullivan's there. Good play by O'Sullivan. Last tackle, says John Oldsworth. So look for Pierce again with a kick. Gets his kick off, but this time it's covered. Desi Drummond and David Lyon. This time Drummond leaves it to David Lyon. He links up with him. Sells a dummy, but Drummond was just too far in front for the pass. So... Drummond goes on his own, but no way through. Andrew Young there and Russell. Well, bright opening for Warrington in these first ten minutes. They look like scoring twice. They just want to calm it down a little. A brilliant run by Bateman, and he just happened to spoil it with a final pass. Dwayne Mansell's a dummy. McGinty comes inside, but Peter Tunks is there with a good tackle downstairs. Warrington still in their own half. Here's David Lyon. Gets his boot to it. Good kick. Gets it between Michael and Young. Michael this time lets it go and he picks it up. This time he's taking the responsibility on. But there's no way for him to run. Bob Jackson and Mike Gregory upend him in the Sheffield 25. Now it's Sheffield's turn to come away with it. Russell. Russell makes a strong run. He makes a few yards. Sheffield now looking to come away with it. Waddell. Waddell the slips as he comes. Tries to go on the other foot and still unloads it to Russell. Russell shows it to Warrington. Powell. And Powell's well held. His ex-Great Britain mate, Mike Gregory, there in the tackle, but that was a good good pass from Waddell. Here's Tunks, watch for Tunks to unload. Back, back passage this time. And Gamson slipping out some crafty passes, both these prop forwards for the Eagles. So here's Pace again. This time he gets his kick away. Looks like behind Drummond this time, but Drummond just manages to keep it in play. And he picks it up, he has to come forward, he's got Young in front of him and Panapa. But he gets round Panapa, gets his pass out, good play. Ellis now, Ellis can't get round, Gamson still unloads it. Gary Mercer, well good play by Warrington. Very exciting play considering they're 25. Oh Sullivan, Mike Gregory, he's got Bateman, gets Bateman but Bateman's just grabbed by Young, just as he would seem like he was through the gap. Oh Sullivan now acting half back, Mike Gregory. Nickel in with a the tackle, there's Ellis, looking for work this Ellis, improving every game. Oh, Warrington now, what can they do here? Here's David Lyon, puts the long kick, looks like Warrington's tactic is to play the game in the Eagles, 25 and this kick just, just holds up. Michael picks it up, he's got Nelson with him but he decides to go on his own and Tony Farley's in with a tackle. Nelson, he comes away from play the ball. Makes no ground, the tackle's there again. Harmon in, along with Thornley. So, go blindside. Powell, but there's no way through for Powell. Three tackles and Sheffield's not made any yardage. Warrington's defence keen. This time Mick Cook, the hooker, he comes forward. He happens to make it to the 25. Four tackles, shouts John Oldsworth. Here's the long one, a bit of a mix-up there, but luckily for Tunks, the ball fell. And a bit of an obstruction on Ellis. Ellis looks for a great ball. But again, and Nelson's away. David Lyon covering, no, no way through for Nelson. Good play by Lyon. But another mix-up there and another try goes begging for Warrington. Mix-up between Tony Farley and Mercer. And Nelson picks up the loose ball. Waddell unloads it to Tunks. Tunks gets it across to Powell. Powell nowhere to go. And he's brought down. Oh, Sullivan shepherded him there. Good play by Warrington. Eagles now. Tunks. Tunks has got Russell. Russell going. He gets his pass up. No, he just can't unload. He had Nick Pace on his shoulder. But Warrington's tackling holes up again. Powell. Long pass to Waddell. But Waddell's met man and ball. Dwayne Mann there still going. And he gives the ball to Warrington. Thanks very much, says Bob Jackson. And sets Neil Armin in motion. So, Sheffield making bad mistakes as well. So, Warrington again in possession, spreading it wide now. Good pass by... Good play by McGinty. McGinty just can't get steady. 
Just knocked off balance and jumped, couldn't straighten up. So Warrington now looking to fan it back to this far side through O'Sullivan. Sullivan for the turnaround. It off the ball, Mike Gregory there by Farrell. No one's seen it. Bob Jackson. Bob Jackson looks to straighten up, runs into Farrell and Panapa, but makes it to the halfway line. Good strong running, it looks like Mike Gregory's took a leg on, knock on the leg, but he'll try and walk it off as O'Sullivan gets a good kick in. This time it goes behind Maiko. Maiko has to pick it up and he's in goal area. He's coming forward. But who's there again? Tony Fornley. I mean, I might knock Fornley on attack, but you can't knock him in defence. He gives 100% as Cook comes away. But Rocky Turner's there, but there. And Armin has to come in and stop him getting the pass away. Gregory receiving a treatment now on the halfway line. As Tunks puts a nice inside pass out. So... Sheffield again, Tunks now getting involved in this game, gets a good pass to Russell, but Russell's tackled back downstairs by Bob Jackson, he can't unload. So, Eagles now, Pace, he spreads it to Nickel, that's what they like doing this Sheffield side, and he unloads it, good play by Pace and Nickel, good backing up, last tackle, Warrington pick it up, good play by Kevin Ellis, Kevin Ellis having a word with Gary Pace, Gary Pace not happy, he looks far from fit to me, Gary Pace. As Dwayne Mann comes forward, rustling with a tackle, along with Waddell. He looks like he's put on a couple of stones since he was at Old Pace, as Billy McGinty looks for the gap, but Waddell again in with a tackle. So Warrington now, Mike Gregory up on his feet again after receiving attention. Nice slip pass there from O'Sullivan to Armand, but Sheffield read it. And it's that man Tunks who brings down McGinty. Halfway line, Warrington now looking, here's the kick. Sees all the players forward, that is an excellent kick. And it's picked up brilliantly. And here looks a try, but no. Still going, Kevin Ellis. Kevin Ellis to Fawnley. Fawnley goes in for Warrington's first score of the afternoon. Good play there. All started from a little chip. Oh, Sullivan, he held the ball up. Just long enough for Warrington to all be behind. The little chip, the bounce beat David Nelson. Mike Gregory took it. Fed Kevin Ellis. When Kevin Ellis looked like he was going to be tackled. Sullivan started it and Tony Farley finished it after the ball had gone through Mike Gregory and Kevin Ellis' hands. Good play by Ellis. Looked like Kevin Ellis was going in for his third try on succession, but he was just held up. But luckily for him, he managed to throw out a sweet pass to Tony Farley. I'll tell you what, Tony Farley had better buy Kevin Ellis something for Christmas for that. So, he's left Rocky turn with a bad and hard goal right over there. It's just two yards in from the touchline. But Playing football like that, Warrington won't be in the relegation zone much longer. So, Turner, looks a good one. That looks all the way. I know what a beauty. He's done what Paul Eastwood did last week. From a brilliant try, a brilliant conversion from the touchline. So, after 17 minutes play, it's Warrington 6, Sheffield Eagles 0. So, Eagles now, Gary Pearce to restart, 6-0 down, partway through the first half, and a long kick by, and there's the lad again. Good running Turner, he runs into Peter Tonks, but he gets up. He's playing well, he likes this loose forward position, Rocky Turner, I'll tell you, he's trying to make it his own. So, Warrington now, McGinty. McGinty coming back into the team after the injury, he didn't play at all last week, and he's, Warrington looking for a big game from Bill. Neil Harmon, always gives 100% Neil, plays well above his weight, good prop forward, one for the future Neil. David Lyon, Lyon gets it off again, this is the tactic, but young, and he, good play by the winger Andrew Young, he had that well covered and he's well tackled. Again Ellis in the tackle, two rugby union lads there, Ellis having a blinder, Michael, this is the lad to watch, like I said earlier. Everyone's impressed with this lad. Coming on the far side now. You Waddell, Warrington getting in each other's way there, but luckily for them, Waddell couldn't get the ball out. So, 
Maiko acting half back inside to Tunks. Tunks throws it back to Pace. Pace gives it to Farrell. Farrell juggles with it and still manages to hold on. A good juggling at by Farrell. Looked like he'd lost that ball, but he comes up with it. Cook. Cook to misses out Tunks. Pace. Pace outside to Russell. Russell can't unload. Good play again by Warrington. Man and ball. It's that man Turner. Here's Cook. Didn't play last week, Sheffield missed him. Last tackle now, says Mr Allsworth as Eagles. Five yards out. Look for the kick here from Tunks. Little chip goes straight between, but Drummond's there. And Drummond comes forward and he gets out. Good play by Desi Drummond. Two Sheffield Eagles players hanging on him. Andrew Young and Panapa, and still carries the ball forward. Bateman, sensible play by Bateman. Nothing fancy in their own area. Just one man rugby come away with it. McGinty, Russell a bit of a trip there. But he get away with it. The fans don't like that. Switches it again. Turner. Turner can't. No way through for Rocky. Runs into his opposite number, Tony Farrell. So, Warrington now. Misses out arm. And O'Sullivan's got good play by Farley this time. O'Sullivan back into Mercer. Mercer goes round Farrell. But there's, and he still unloads it. Dwayne Mann, good backing up by Warrington. Good attractive rugby. That's the stuff that warms you up on these cold days. David Lyon gets a beauty off. But there again, Maiko, good positional play. Decides to come on his own, but there's no way round Alan Bateman and the assist from Billy McGinty. So, Eagles having a lot of ball. Andrew Young, no way through, but looking to unload. Lucky for Warrington, Bateman got in between man and the pass. Gamson goes from acting half, but remember, Maiko now has beat Dave, Mark Ashton's record of games for Eagles. I don't know what's up with Mark Ashton, but I can tell you that now, Gary Powell in possession, but tackled again. His ex great Britain compatriot, Mike Gregory. Pace, Pace switches to Nickel. A telegram play that time by Pace and Warrington are having none of it. As Nickel takes the tackle, again, last tackle. Watch for the kick again. It looks like Tunks position himself. No Pace on the blind side. Tubby little Pace. This time it's Drummond and he does the wise thing, just boots it dead. So Rocky will be dropping out from between the sticks. I must say, I've never seen Gary Pitt. He looks like a little prop forward, never mind a standoff. He must have had some Christmas turkey early, that's all I can say. And Kevin Ellis is having a right old duel with him. Although Pace is at standoff and Ellis is at scrum half, mark my words, these two are having a bit of a duel. And if I'll tell you who's coming out on top up to now, it's four rounds to Kevin Ellis. But let's hope Gary Pace don't get a knockout blow like Edel Graham took last night. Anyway, back to the game. Michael, there again. This time he's got plenty of support, but again decides he doesn't want it. And goes forward, runs into Bob Jackson and Mike Gregory. So Eagles again. Mick Cook. Gary Everington was saying earlier in the week, this lad he likes in his side every week. And when they played Bradford last week in the Regal Trophy, they surely missed him. What else? Trying to unload it there. He surprised me. Cook Tunks. Pace knocks it on and Warrington pick it up. Play on, says the referee. No, he's seen the knock on now. And I'm afraid Sheffield will get the head and ball. It looked like Alan Bateman just nudged the ball forward. And John Holes has got eyes in the back of his head and he spotted it. No. He's done, yeah, that's fair enough, he's given Warrington head and ball, he reckon Warren, Sheffield made the first knock on and Warrington got no advantage from it, that's the right decision. So, Kevin Ellis now to get the ball in, gets it in and gets it out. Mike Gregory, Gregory dummies, gets round Russell, goes round Farrell, Dwayne Mann at support, good strong. Everyone reckons this Benny Elias is the best hooker in the world, well I think Dwayne Mann might have something to say about that, and I agree, he's had a great season up to now for Warrington. Very rarely has a bad game. Gregory gets turn and oh. Crossing. Correct decision. Mike Gregory did the right thing there. Rocky Turner was a bit close to him and he'd have given Rocky that ball. He'd have got him murdered. And that's good skipper's play. He took the tackle and the knock. Good play by Mike Gregory. But also involved in it was a bit of crossing. And John Oldsworth was quick to spot it. So Eagles get a penalty. Looks like Pierce now having his first shot at goal. First chance to put points on the board for the Eagles. It's about, I'd say about 40, 40 yards out, directly in front. And a kick at a pace, his quality should have no problem putting this between the sticks. So, yeah, a few of these Sheffield players, I must admit, look a bit overweight. The number 13, Anthony Farrell, I remember him on the wing for Huddersfield. The Barracudas, look at him now. And look at Gary Pace. But he's probably made you pay now, Pace. He'll probably put this right between the sticks. Pace, 
Looks a good one. But, yep, no problem for Gary Pearce. So, 25 minutes gone. It's Warrington 6, Sheffield Eagles 2. Eagles fans in the crowd shouting the team on. So, Rocky O'Sullivan brings the ball back. After all the play and the Warrington attacks, it's hard to believe that after 29 minutes play, Warrington's only leading 6 2. O'Sullivan now, the man that's tie maker, long one. Farrell, no, Russell. Soccer style has to pick it up as a run rusher. Warrington forward, submerge on him. So, Eagles now penned in their own 25. This is where they've got to play this game. Nelson, good play by Nelson. David Nelson giving his forwards a break and come running in field to take a bit of the workload off them. Here he is, Powell, but again, Powell nowhere to go. And he unloads again. Warrington's got Mick Cook. Warrington's got to stop this unloading in the tackle. Eagles making yardage with this play. Here's Gamson, scrum half. Again, Armand manages to drag him down, just like he's setting pace and Cook in motion. Halfway line, Eagles. Tunks, Waddell's alongside him, but Tunks goes forward and a crunching tackle. Billy McGinty and Bob Jackson bring him down. Powell, Powell looking to kick. Gets a good kick away. It looks straight into touch, though. So it'll be Warrington's ball from a turnover. And that's what John Allsworth signals. So Warrington will restart midway between the 25 and halfway with a restart. That was the sixth tackle by Powell, and it went in. He's having a stinker up to now, like he did yesterday for Great Britain. Neil Armand, no way he can get his pass out, though. He had Tony Farley and Mercer, and just against David Nelson, but Gamson Mill, man and ball. O'Sullivan, Turner. Turner has to hold on, did it very well to hold that ball. He took his eye off it for a split second, but just kept hold of the ball. So Warrington now, trying to get out of their own half. Ellis, Ellis dominates, pass inside to Bateman, and Bateman carries the two. Sheffield prop forwards, five yards with him. Shows you how strong this young rugby union boy is. O'Sullivan, looking to kick. Good play by O'Sullivan. This is what Warrington want now. They want O'Sullivan to come in the game and team up with Kevin Ellis at half-back and this Warrington team won't go places. Jackson. Jackson straightens up. Lovely play by Jackson. Obstruction. Oh, it looked like it was obstructions to me, that. Gary Mercer pulled Nelson back and he's got away with it. Must have knocked on. Yep, David Nelson knocked on. So Warrington get the head and ball. Ten yards inside the Eagles half. Kevin Ellis going on the far side, blind side. Comes away with it. O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan's got Farnley. Lyon linking up. O'Sullivan switches it to Bateman. Bateman just grabbed at the last minute by Powell. Warrington now playing on this side now. Gregory. Looking for a good workload from Mike Gregory now. Reckons his hands healing up. Couldn't be any better. He had a good second half for the Britain as he come on sub yesterday. Bateman. Unloads it. Good play by Bateman. Unloads it up. Kevin Ellis just can't hold it. Unlucky there. Billy McGinty got a lovely pass out to Alan Bateman. Bateman give it to her and Kevin just couldn't hold it. So, it's a scrum down, Eagles head and ball. Midway between the halfway line and Eagles 25. Having a good game, Kevin Ellis, for my money today. Gamson gets it in, gets it out. Gives it to Youngman, who's come running in on the inside. But Warrington read that move and shut it right down. Bateman and O'Sullivan. Here's Russell, trying to get involved in the game. But he runs into his opposite number, Mike Gregory. No way through there. So, Eagles, look for these two big prop forwards. It is Cook, there's Nickel, but Nickel not getting the running chances today like he did earlier in the season at the Alton Stadium. Pace, here's Powell. Powell shows the ball to Warrington, and Warrington are having none of it. And Powell's buried. McGinty and Jackson in the tackle. Maiko now, watch Maiko from acting half-back. Here he goes, I knew that's what he was going to do. Good play by Maiko. Halfway line, last tackle shouts the referee. Watch for the kick again here. Is it Tunks again? Tunks gets a little chip off. And it's well taken by Kevin Ellis. And he buzzes forward. Good run. Run straight through Gary Pearce. Good job Mick Cook was there. So Warrington now switching it to the other wing. O'Sullivan, he'd be better holding it here. Too much cover defence over there. And O'Sullivan does the right wing. Holds the ball. It looks like this right wing is where the weak link is. If Warrington get it this way. No, they go blindside. Armin unloads to Farnley, and Farnley did exceptionally well then. He had Powell hanging on him as before he got the ball and still managed to get five yards. No Warrington fanning it across the field. Mike Gregory straightens up, just can't get the pass out. He had Lyon on his shoulder. Four shout John Oldsworth, as you can hear down. Involved in the game, John Oldsworth. 
O'Sullivan, O'Sullivan again with a kick. This time it looks a good one. It looks like he's found touch. What a cracking kick. Finds touch five yards from the Eagles line. So, Warrington playing the game where he wants and the Eagles 25. But Eagles will have the head and ball. Well, I think the fans might have forgiven John Oldsworth now. After that couple of tries, he didn't give us at Oldham at Watersheddings. But today, he was right on, and Sullivan made sure they were getting one from a kick. And John Oldsworth was perfectly positioned and made sure no one was offside. So, Eagles get the ball from the scrum. Russell coming forward with it. Can't unload on the 25 now. He'll have to go on his own now. Tunks, Tunks, he's got his partner over prop. A good run by Tunks. Good play to Powell, good pass there, but Warrington read it. Gary Mercer shut Powell down straight away. So, Eagles again. Powell, Pace, Pace has got Nickel, but Nickel's standing still, but this lad's not Gamson, and Neil Armin has to come up with a good tackle. Sonny Nickel not involved in the game, he's just stood around, he'd be better running onto this ball. Powell, Powell looking to switch it back. Warrington getting back, and they have just managed to shut him down. Last tackle now, watch for a kick, Pace this time. No Tunks again on the blind side, inside to Mick Cook, Pace, Pace to Powell, Powell gets a good kick off and it gets behind Gary Mercer, good play I suppose that by Gerald Powell, when Warrington were expecting the kick straight away, the ball went through about five Sheffield Eagles pair of hands, until it finally went back to Powell and Powell found Mercer wanting over on that far side and got his kick behind him, so it's a scrum down, ten yards from the Warrington line, Warrington's head and ball, Warrington get it out through Ellis. Goes on the blind side. Kevin Ellis having a good game. Brilliant play by Ellis. Makes about 40 yards. Good run by Ellis. No Warrington now. Man, man. Oh, Sullivan. Rocky misses it, but Turner gets it back. Still a gap here. Bateman. Lion. Lion a bit keeps going, but can he unload? Man. Man inside to Mercer. Mercer's going away. Man with you, Mercer. Warrington still going, good play is Bateman, Bateman goes in, Warrington, brilliant play, and good play by Gary Mercer, he had the sense to get up quick because he wasn't tackled, got the pass to Drummond, and Drummond got Alan Bateman running on this near touchline, there was only way one place Alan Bateman was going, and that was over that try line, so we've got congratulations now to Alan Bateman, his first try for Warrington. but was not tough balance, wasn't tackled, got up quickly, played, give the ball to Desi Drummond, who was backing up superbly, and Drummond drew the man young, younger, and the, Alan Bateman just pinned his ears back and away he went. So, Rocky misses that difficult kick from this near touch line, but it in <laughs> 31 minutes gone. So the fans are a bit happier today. Warrington playing some good stuff. Let's hope this is the sign of things to come. So Pace now, ready to restart. Not much Sheffield could do about that. That move started deep in the Warrington half. And it was finished off with a try for Alan Bateman in this far corner. Pace, Ellis lets it go behind him. Wise thing. Turner picks it up on the bounce. He comes forward. He's strong, having a good game at loose forward, Rocky. The fans on the far side reckon Summit went on, but you don't need four men to tackle Rocky, but I'm sure Eagles do. Neil Armin ploughing his usual ten yards forward now. Warrington, this is what they'll do. Again, Mercer, good play by Mercer, giving his forwards a break. He makes five yards. Warrington just slowly coming away with it. Mrs McGinty, Mike Gregory straightens up, but tripped at the last minute. So, look for the kick now, David Lyons, Mercer. Back inside to Bob Jackson. Bob Jackson has to take the tackle, though. Farrell's in there, and so is Mick Cook, the hooker. So, this is the kick this time. Last tackle, says the reverie. David Lyons, plenty of time. Gets it on his left foot and gets it between Nelson and Michael. But Michael picks it up. Is he going to... Oh, he gives it to Nelson. He lets Nelson have a run. And there's no way Nelson's going. Mike Gregory and Bob Jackson in the tackle. So, Eagles now. 
Maiko, a bad mistake. Bad mistake by Maiko. Took his eye off the ball, but you can't blame the young lad. It blamed the, the forwards. They were all stood in a bunch, and they had nowhere to go, Maiko. So, Warrington's head and ball. Midway between the Eagles, 25 and halfway. Can we get another try before half-time? Six minutes to go. Ellis gets it out. Good play by Ellis. Gets O'Sullivan on the run. Switches it to David Lyon. But what a good tackle by Gary Powell. Give the lad some credit. That was a crunching tackle on David Lyon. And it looks like David Lyon took a knock from it. Mercy. Takes half this Sheffield pack on. Comes forward. About 25 yards out now. Warrington looking for a third try. Neil Arman. Good running by Neil Arman. Takes play to about 10 yards from the line. Warrington, two players receiving attention. One, David Lyon. Is O'Sullivan having a good game? Switches it, McGinty. McGinty's going in. Good try by Billy McGinty. So, Warrington get the third try. 35 minutes gone, and McGinty goes in. In exactly the same spot where Alan Bateman scored. Although he was just caught, knocked off balance, Billy managed to just keep his balance and plough over. And there ever he was in the perfect spot. Four points. I think it's Tony Farnley as well receiving. David Lyons up on his feet. He's leg. He's, and it is Farnley. Tony Farnley. And he's up on his feet, I'm glad to say. So Warrington back at full stretch. So, Gary, Mer Gary Chambers having a warm-up on the far side. Turner, unlucky, just drifts to the right of the post, but he won't be too bothered with that. Fans giving him a round of applause. Good to hear. So, Pierce. This is the fourth time he's been on that centre circle, ready to restart again. Eagles well down. Looks like two points and valuable points at that for Warrington. Oh, so Dwayne Mann. No, it's O'Sullivan. He's having a good game today, he is. He's starting to tick. And with him ticking and Ellis ticking, that's where Warrington's playing the football. Now at half-back, Turner, he does well, keeps hold of the ball. As he's tackled by Ian Russell and Tony Farrell. Dwayne Mann, Dwayne Mann inside to Neil Arman, who made that storming run to bring play just a few yards from the Eagles line. So, Arman, Mike Gregory, he's looking for work. Now, everyone working now in this Warrington team, that's what we want. Big gap over there again, if they can get it switched quickly. Neil Arman, again, good running, but Tunks there with a the tackle. So, here's David Lyon. David Lyon switch it back to Rocky. Rocky gets his kick off, and it's a good one, but Andrew Young there. And Young takes it. Got a good bouncing ball. He's got Maiko with him. Decides to hold on. And he loses possession and Warrington get it. Mike Gregory knocked it out of his hand and Bob Jackson picked it up. Thanks very much, said Warrington. It's old Sullivan now. Ticking in this engine room. Good play by Bateman. Can Turner get a pass out? No. Both prop forwards did well to stop that move, but the gaps are there. They've got to switch it. Drummond sets off again. Just can't get through. Warrington now looking for another try, Ellis. Bob Jackson comes back inside. Mike Gregory, Dwayne Mann. Can't, just held up. And he gives it away. Powell takes the interception when it looked like Dwayne Mann was going over. Again, good play by Warrington. The Eagles were lacking on that far side and Warrington nearly made him pay again. I must say, Chrissy Turner, it's the best game he's had in Warrington colours. And this lad... And Ellis are ticking, and that's what we need. The play will come from them too. So at last we're getting something together, some at concrete. I think Brian Johnson will be an happy man as well. So, I make it about three minutes to half time. Plus a bit of stoppage time when Mr. Olds will stop the clock to have a word with the ball, boys. So, Eagles, last tackle. Midway between the 25 and halfway, look for the kick again. Here's Tunks, taking on the kicking responsibility. Gets it again behind Drummond, but no problem for Warrington. But Desi will have to play it. Desi picks it up, he's got Lyon coming up well. Lovely time pass, and David Lyon stays in play. Just couldn't get away from his man this time. Here's Bateman, looking to straighten up. Beats Nickel, beats... Good running by Bateman. I must say... 
this Sonny Nickel, he looks a lazy lad today. He's just not getting involved in the game. He wants to un increase his workload. He just doesn't seem interested. And I'm sure Gary Everington can see it as well. So Warrington on their own 25. Here's Dwayne Mann. Dwayne Mann back to Turner. Turton straightens up, but Mick Cook's there. Tunks is there. Woodell's there. After Pack's there. And Rocky gets up from it. Turner looking for... Oh, Dwayne Mann sells a dummy. Still going. Can't unload, though. Chrissy O'Sullivan, last tackle, so watch for Warrington here with a kick. I think Rocky will take this. No, O'Sullivan gets a good kick off. But again, this looks like young Michael's ball. Younger, gives it to Younger. Young now, what can he do? No way down, Billy McGinty and Bob Jackson. He's brought to ground, ten yards short of the halfway line. So Eagles, desperate for a score before half-time. Russell, but there again. And look at it, there's the half-time hooter. And the Warrington fans... The happiest they've been for a few games as Warrington go in 14 2 in front at half time, with the scorers being Bert Alan Bateman, Tony Farnley a try apiece, Billy McGinty a try, and a conversion from Rocky Turner. So, half time score at Widderspool, Warrington 14. Second half of this Stones Division 1 match between Warrington and Sheffield Eagles. The second half, Gary Pearce ready to get underway for Eagles. Remember, Warrington leading 14 2. Gary Pearce restarts the match. Warrington playing towards their own supporters this half. So let's hope for a few more tries. Ellis gives it to Drummond and Drummond just gets grabbed from behind. So Warrington now starting the attack from their own 25. Mike Gregory straightening up. Gives it to Dwayne Mann who's backing up superbly. Along with Neil Harmon. Neil Harmon to McGinty. But McGinty can't cut off the pass. Andy Dickinson come on for Sheffield. I think it's... Sam Panapar who's gone off. So one substitution. And that's it. For Eagles, number 14, Andy Dickinson has come on for Sam Panapar, the New Zealand. And what a kick by Dwayne, man. That is a killer. Puts play about 15 yards, 10 yards from the Eagles line. A good 50 yard kick by Dwayne, man. And they're on about Benny Elias. You can shove your Benny Elias. So. Warrington now, it'll be Eagles head and ball, 10 yards from the line, one ball, Eagles has got to win, and they do. Gamson comes away with it, but Kevin Ellis onto him like a whippet. Very quick, and a penalty, but I'm sure John Hulls with had his back turned. He must have eyes in the back as if Eddie, he reckon that's what happened then, because he definitely didn't see that. Who's he trying to kid? So, Pierce kicks the penalty, gets about midway between the halfway and halfway line. How he can penalise that, I don't know. He never even looked at his touch, Judge. So, Young worked hard, this winger for him. Good work rate, coming in, doing a lot of work. Waddell. I'm sure Gary Everington's had something to say to this Eagles team. Remember, last season, everyone thought they'd get relegated, but they stuck at it and they stayed in the first division. But let's be honest, I can't see them doing it this year, along with Rochdale. So, Dickinson gets involved straight away. Powell gets a kick behind Desert, but again, straight into touch. And Daryl Powell, another bad kick, but this time it was on the fifth tackle, so it looks like it'll be a scrum. Daryl Powell's kicking game is shocking. Picks his mouthpiece up. So, Gary Pearce gone over back again. Ellis comes away backwards, says the referee. And now he said it's a knock on. So, Comedy of errors here in the early minutes in the second half. Player's still a bit cold, I think. Just got to warm up a bit. So, Gamson gets the ball in quickly, gets it out. Pace, Pace switches it back this side, and Michael does very well, nearly loses it. Powell, no way round, fall, a crunching tackle. That's the way to tackle. Nelson, have a quiet game, can't get into the game, but he's still going. Riddles out of Bob Jackson's tackle, but Neil Armand's there with a the tackle. Don't like being tackled, this lad. Tunks. Tunks looking to unload. Running strong now, Tunks. Eagles will be looking more for him. Had to pay by some money for this lad from Salford. And Gary Evans will want a workload off him. As he gives it to his fella prop, Woodell. He's tackled. Ten yards out now. Eagles, what can they do? Looking for an early score. Bring him back in the game. Pace, Powell. Powell's got Michael linking up. Well played by Michael. But good tackling by Bob Jackson and Gary Mercer. But good play by Michael, linking up Pace, looking for a little kick through. And again, Warrington's got it well covered. Chrissy O'Sullivan gets it off. 
So did the sensible thing, he had three eagles attackers beaming down his neck and he just let the give the ball and help him on its way. So Rocky Turner now after the restart. No, it's Chrissy O'Sullivan himself who's restarting from between the sticks. Long drop out, looks for the long one. And it looks a good and gets to the highway line. Nickel will have to pick this. No, he leaves it again to Maiko. He's having a lazy game, this Nickel, just strolling around the field. But okay, opposite for Gary, young Mark David Maiko, he's having a good game. Here's Nickel, looking for breakthrough here, Nickel. Just after me saying that, and he's almost through. Still going, but Dwayne Mann manages to take Mann and Ball. Well, I've just been saying he stood around and he makes a storming 30 yard run. So, Eagles, pace, pace, Waddle, Waddle back inside. Can he can load it? No, Russell just can't take the pass. So, Eagles, 20 yards out. Tunks, Tunks has got Powell with him, shows the ball and can unload. So, Warrington now. Gary Powell acting half back, goes forward. Nelson, Nelson looking for a chink. And he runs straight through the Warrington defence. Another set played at from Eagles. Darrell, Darrell Powell, he had young Nelson, who knew, knew where he was going. There was only one spot. What about that? Atrocious. He just run through to about three or four players. And he's not that big. So... We've had five minutes of the second half and Eagles just what they wanted, an early score. I'm sure Gary Everington will be pleased with that. Converted by P mm. So Warrington now will have to restart from the halfway line. The Eagles right back in this game. Warrington 14, Sheffield Eagles 8 after that try and conversion from David Nelson. So, Sullivan restarts, long kick. Nickel picks this one up now, Nickel coming more into the game. That's what you've got to do. You can't stand around and leave it to the rest of the pack. You've got to work as a team. Here's Russell. Here's one lad who does work as a team. Does a tremendous lot of work for the Eagles along with the Oka Cook. So, Cook. Misses out, Tunks gives it to Waddell, but O'Sullivan holds on with assistance from Rocky. Mick Cook, Russell, Russell to Pace, Pace throws a long pass to Dickinson, but Dickinson can't go round, but he gets his pass to Powell. Powell gives it to Young, about 10 yards forward, but the referee didn't see that. Cook. Just a sensible thing, brings the ball up from acting half-back. Bob Jackson down again, receiving attention on his leg. Pace gets his kick away. Looks a good kick, but David Lyon, good positional play by David Lyon. And he comes forward, but no way round the scrum half. Mark Gamson, so Warrington now on their own 25. Mike Gregory, sensible, picks it up and runs forward and loses the ball. Hugh Waddell steals the ball, so Warrington under pressure again. Eagles now 25 yards out, Tunks, Tunks has to go down with the ball though, no way through, he had Farrell up with him, so Eagles now looking for another score, Russell, Russell now, dummies, goes one way, goes the other way, but just dragged down, just 15 yards from the Warrington line now, Eagles looking for a second try, Powell, Powell shows the ball, gives it to Nickel, but Nickel's well upended, Bob Jackson this time, Two tackles to go, can Warrington's defence hold out? Mick Cook goes through, goes forward, but good play by McGinty, man and ball. Last tackle, says John Allsworth, watch for a kick by Tunks here. Tunks positions himself, gets it out, but the final pass to Young from Nickel, from Russell just went into touch and Warrington get reprieved. They'll get a turnover here. So Warrington re turnover and Russell's hurt in the tackle there. It'll be a blood, bow, blood blow for the Eagles if he stays down. Russell having a good game for him. The playmaker in this Eagles pack. Oh, doesn't look too bright at the moment. Referee stopped the clock and Russell still down. This other substitute, big big mining prop forward, Neil Kellett. He's a big lad. And But look, yeah, the clock started and Russell's good to say he's back on his feet. So Warrington starts again. Dwayne Mann. Dickinson, come on as sub, remember for Panapa in there with a the tackle. Good play by Narman. 
He goes lying on. And he does extremely well not to go into touch, Neil Armand, with about four players on him. O'Sullivan, dragged down by Russell. Good tackle on O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan looking for the gap. Bob Jackson, only one way this bloke knows to run, and that's forward. And he gets play on the 25. So Warrington now looking to put the ball back deep in the Sheffield half here. Last tackle. Watch for David Lyon here now. That's what they want. Got to play this game exactly as they did in the first half. In the other... This time it's a bad kick by Dwayne Mann. He's caught the bug off Daryl Powell. And that one goes straight in. So Eagles now with a, a start 30 yards out with a turnover. So... Eagles, Farrell, bulky bloke, this bloke playing at loose forward and there's no way through. Dwayne Mannon, Mike Gregory in the tackle. Comes on the blind side, Gamson. Good running by Gamson again. Play now in the Warrington 25. Eagles now looking for another score. Blind side, Tunks. Tunks unloads it to Farrell. Farrell sees a bit of daylight but just gets close at the last minute. Mike Gregory and Billy McGinty just shut it down. Eagles, though, still on the attack. Russell to Pace. Pace a long one. Powell. Powell looking to switch again to Nelson, but this time Warrington read it. Another set play here. Nelson in the middle of the park now, but they go on the blind side. Through you, Waddell, and you, Waddell, throws the ball about. Inside to Powell. Powell back to Dickinson, but good play by Warrington. So, Eagles now. Last tackle. Look for the kick. Pace. Pace looking to go blind side. Gets his kick away. And he's in touch, but Warrington should get a turnover again. Six tackle. No, nope, the referee indicates a scrum. I don't know. And the fans have given him a right rollicking. They know it should be a turnover. But John Olsen's having none of it. So, Ellis to feed. Not happy with a scrum. Telling him to get up. Don't need this. Let the game flow. Ellis gets it out. One ball we had to win. And Desi Drummond coming inside. Good play by Drummond. But the cover's there, Maiko. No one at home at fullback for Eagles, but Maiko's just returning there now as McGinty comes forward. Good tackle by Russell. So, Warrington now. Neil Arman. Neil Arman again. The tackling's there. Dickinson and Russell again. Going through a lot of tackling, this Russell. Oh, Sullivan. He's got Ellis. Ellis doesn't. Oh, well, gets a good pass. Bateman now. Good round. But Dickinson did extremely well. Play on. Bob Jackson. What a good run by Bob Jackson. Lying on in the tackle. And a penalty. I should think so. Ian Russell, he knew. He didn't want a quick play the ball. He knew they were lacking in numbers at the back. And he obstructed Bob Jackson trying to play the ball quickly. And Mr. Oldswick was right there. So... Warrington get the penalty, 10 yards inside the Eagles half. But what another good pass from Kevin Ellis. Sent Alan Bateman in the clear. Just a good cover tackle by Dickinson. So, they're going for goal, the fans not too happy, but when you look at the scoreboard, Warrington 14, Sheffield 8. If Rocky kicks this, Eagles have got to score twice, and it doesn't do their confidence any good. So I think Warrington's making the right decision here. So, we've had about 12 minutes play in the second half. So, Rocky Turner, chance for his second goal. About 40 yards out, 10 yards in from the far touch line. Looks a good one. But again, waved away. So, a reprieve for Eagles. And they'll have to restart with a dropout on the 25. But, one thing in his favour, he got the ball dead. So, Warrington will get receive the ball back. And he'll put him on the attack again. Gary Pearce, restart, 25 drop. Big one down the middle of the park, outside. Ellis, the only bloke I'm sure he didn't want to get the ball, and Ellis brings play back into the eagle half. He's upended. Russell and Farrell again. Referee letting the Eagles get away with murder as Desi Drummond looking for a bit of daylight. Crowd would love a special from Desi today. Man, O'Sullivan. Mike Gregor's on his own, O'Sullivan! O'Sullivan! Bit early! Turn, Farnley. No, yes, he's given it. It's only Farnley's second try. When it looked like he was held up, he just managed to turn over and get the ball down. Referee reckoned the tackle hadn't been made. 
So, Warrington get the fourth try of the afternoon. Second one for Tony Farnley. Again, Chrissy O'Sullivan in the engine room. He made a brilliant 30-yard dash down the middle of the... So Warrington increased the lead, 30 minutes in the second half, Warrington going to an 18 points to 8 lead with a conversion to come. Rocky Turner are having the best of conversions this afternoon, but credit to the lad, most of them's been from the touchline and this one's about a yard in from the near touchline, 25 yards out. Warrington talking amongst themselves now. Not want this lead to be slip again. Make it hard work for themselves. So, Tony Farley gets his second try. First one in the 17th minute and his second one in the 52nd. And Rocky Turner now with a difficult conversion. Right on the touchline. What can he do with this one? Looks a good one again though. Just floats to the far side. So... Warrington now, I make it without 25 minutes to go, and the gloom coming in on Widderspool. It's Warrington 18, Sheffield Eagles 8. But, again, who made that try? This is the best game for, he's ever had for Warrington in a shirt, Chrissy O'Sullivan, and that's what we want. Him and Kevin Ellis ticking over in the engine room, and the engine will just run smooth. Eagles now, mate. Panapa comes back on. Panapa back on, and David Nelson goes off, the try scorer for Eagles. Pace gets it off to Kevin Ellis. Kevin Ellis gives it Desi Drummond. The crowd roar when he touches the ball. What they'd like to see a special from Desi. But not to be on this occasion. Billy McGinty. Good play by McGinty. McGinty now looking for support. But he has to take the tackle. Mike Owen with it. Warrington had been better backing up there. Here's Neil Armand. Neil Armand to Farnley. Tony Vimey looking for a third try, I'm sure. Playing opposite Daryl Powell. Daryl Powell won't be too pleased. He's not getting a smell in. Good play by O'Sullivan. Switches play. Good play by Mercer. Quick hands. Kevin Ellis. Bits of daylight. Turner. Bateman. Bateman back to Dwayne Mann. Dwayne Mann holds on. And he's got a Sheffield player. It looks like Peter Tunks. It's it. He hit Warrington player off the ball. The fan's not happy, Peter Tunks, John Oldsman having a word with him. But he's letting him off again. The Warrington player lay prostrate. It looks like Gary Mercer. That's twice this season Gary Mercer's been the rep of bad late tackles and twice the players stayed on the field. Earlier in the season we had Rochdale Arnitz down here and their second row forward, Mike O'Neill, did a late elbow on onto Gary Mercer that flattened him and what happened he stayed on the park and what's happened again here Tunks has done exactly the same and he stayed on the park so they're on about Fred Lind up cleaning up the rugby league well he better get his his glasses out and start having a word with his referees because play like that there's only one place they should be and that's sent from the field of play so Peter Tunks look he's still on the field what a disaster that would have been sent off in his depot game for Sheffield Eagles he can thank John Oldsworth for that. So, leaves Rocky Turner now. Another kick. Directly in front of the sticks this time though. But, like I say, 40 yards out. Trying to increase Warrington's lead. Chrissy O'Sullivan receiving a bit of attention. And Turner. This time it's there. No, again it's wide. So Warrington not having the best of goal kicking today. We've had four tries and just one goal. So, it looks like we're getting that Australian syndrome. Remember, they've not had a good goal kicker on tour. They managed to still win the games, but Warrington's got to do the same. Ellis again. Bob Mike Gregory. Good forward running by Mike Gregory. Again, brings play back to the... And again, he loses it. Play on. As Waddle picks up that twice, Mike Gregory's lost the ball. I reckon this finger must be doing something on the grip of the ball. Russell. Can't, oh, can't on low. Too many Warrington shirts there. Neil Armand, McGinty, O'Sullivan, all there. Gamson. Gamson, pace, pace along one, Powell, Powell shows Warrington the ball, and they run into each other, they closed it right down, 
Warrington. Powell. Powell gets it out to Faddle. Faddle's going strong, but there's his opposite number. Rocky Turner brings him down. Eagles now. Russell. Russell's got Nickel. Nickel trying to get a running chance, and he gets going. Still going, Russell. But he's tackled on the 25. Last tackle. Did exceptionally well there. Kevin Ellis. His pace. Watch the little kick. Dummies. But he takes the tackle. And Warrington pick it up through Dwayne Mann. Alert as ever, Dwayne Mann. The only ball that's on the ground. Dane Mann's there. So Warrington now. Six tackles in their own 25. Bob Jackson just doing the wise thing. Coming forward. Held up though by three Eagles defenders. And on the Warrington 25. Who's going to make the break this time for Warrington? And Gary Mercer recovered from his injury and he loses it. He gets the drop set. Picked up by Sam Panapar, who's come back on. Playing on the wing now for Nelson. Now Eagles, what can they do? Waddell. Waddell goes one way. What? Unloads it. Dickinson having a good game since he come on Dickinson. He's involved anyway. Mick Cook acting half back. Chunks first receiver. He's got Powell coming on his inside, but he can't unload. Warrington closed it right down. Now, Eagles in the 25. Woodell. Woodell straightens up. Can unload again. Warrington in with a tackle. So, 10 yards out. Gamson acting half back. Look for Tunks. Tunks switching it back, but no one there. And O'Sullivan does a good tackle. Oh, Farrell. Penalty. Well, silly play by Tony Farrell. Chrissy O'Sullivan having a bit of a giggle. Tackle, says the referee, and playing the ball. Well, that is elementary. Schoolboys don't know that. I'm sure it's Sheffield won't like that. So, Warrington get the penalty. On their own 25, David Lyon, chance to put Warrington back in the Eagles' half and on the attack. Whoop, right over our gantry it goes. Bit of snow on that one. So, play. Just inside the Warrington half. Warrington get restarted. Gary Mercer takes it from Dwayne Mann. Takes up the first tackle. Halfway line now. Warrington now looking for another score. Miss goes the other way this time. Neil Armin, big gap. Forward pass. Reverie spotted it. Well forward. Neil Armin had been better taking the tackle and regrouping. But he give it to Billy McGinty. And Billy McGinty was stood in front of him. Pats him on the back. Says, never mind, Neil. So, Eagles, head and ball. Ten yards inside their own half. Got to score twice if they want to get two points out of that realisation. Mike to Powell, but Warrington read it. It's only Farnley having a good game. Even though, and he's lying on. But it looked like Powell was holding him onto him. Tony Farnley not happy with it. All right, I've said a few things about Tony Farnley, especially when he's not been passing the ball. But he's gone over for two tries today. And his defence, he's kept Powell under, uh, under control. So, good luck to you, young Tony Farnley, lad. As Eagles now making the second substitution. And I'm not surprised. It's Sonny Nickel who goes off. He's been strolling round like it's an afternoon stroll. And they bring on the big boy, Neil Keller. Roly-poly figure. But he works. He's a good lad. And the crowd give him a bit of a laugh. A roly-poly character. Looks like Les Dawson in shorts. So, Eagles now with a penalty. Five yards in the Warrington half of the field. Midway through the second half of the game. Young, he comes forward. He's had a good game on the wing for Eagles, but he's upended on this occasion by Bob Jackson. Here's Kellett, his first touch. The crowd get roaring. Oh, roly poly, but he makes five yards. Go the other side this time. Well forward by Gamson to Woodell, and he gets away with it. Sees daylight, but good tackle by Bob Jackson. Eagles now. Tunks, Tunks has he's got a good. Can he unload? Yeah. Throws a good pass. Powell does extremely well. Farrell. But Farrell runs back into danger. But he unload. Gets away. Still going. Still going. Finally managed to bring him down. And he nearly unloaded. And Farrell made Warrington's tackling look shipshot then. Cook. Inside. Cook. Inside to the Panapa. Panapa looking to unload. He can. The last tackle. So watch for Tunks again. There he is. Tunks has got it. Here's the kick. Long kick, good taken, Bateman, he's away is he, he's got his head pinned back, he's going to go. Give it to Gregory, there's he. Oh, unfortunate, Warrington made a mess of it. Alan Bateman just didn't have the legs. Got to about 25 and let the ball out to Mike Gregory, Mike Gregory give it to Drummond certain score but the crowd like that 
One end of the field to the other. Just unfortunate we didn't get a try to com complete it. Alan Bateman, good run. How he didn't go under the stick there. And I thought he had the legs. He took Michael on. But Panna Paquette with him. Now Eagles back in possession. Dickinson can't find it hard now. Warrington now. Got, this is where they want to play the game. Hear the crowd there. The house of pain. And Warrington get it. Knock on. Correct decision, referee. Warrington player getting between the man and the ball and he knocked it forward. And the man was Bob Jackson. And this time John Halls was correct. So Eagles will get head and ball. But the fans happy. The house of pain crowd. They're all there. First win for a couple of months. And he's given offside. The crowd again get it. Don't like this John Halsworth. I'll tell you something. He won't get no Christmas cards from Warrington supporters. Especially from house of pain. And Eagles now. Get the penalty, Gary Pearce finds touch on the halfway line. Good kick by Pearce. So, I make it. We've got about 15 minutes left. Eagles trailing 18 points to eight. And they bring play now inside the Warrington half. Big forwards, these Eagles, but Warrington's holding their own as Dickinson has to take the tackle. Mike Gregory there and Chris O'Sullivan. Warrington's forwards hold their own today. Remember, it's a bigger pack, but they've managed to keep this Sheffield pack off. Three shouts, Holdsworth, get off. Dickinson inside to Tunks. Tunks back to this Powell. Set move this by Eagles. Not down this time, but picked up well by Russell. But just can't get the final pass away. And Warrington now looking, played it to himself. Still going. Last tackle. So look for, look for, there's, Tunks again on the far side. A little chip this time. David Lyons does exceptionally well. Brave. Breakfast for Dave Lyons. Having a quiet second half. Desi trying to get away. Cook's holding on. So. Dwayne Mann. Not shy. Works hard. Earns his crust. Dwayne Mann. Best ducker in the world for my money. Neil Harmon. Another forward working overtime. Bringing the ball away. Warrington, no. All they've got to do, get down that other end. Remember, it's Warrington 18, Sheffield Eagles 8, and I make it. We're in the 65th minute, David Lyons. That's where it's got to go, but Maiko just gets all well played by young Maiko. Had a good game for Eagles, his fullback, and sets on another attack, but he's brought down Dwayne Mann. So, here they come again. Eagles opened up by Panapa. But he's tacking. No, he gets up again. Still going, tries to run through David Lyons, you can't do that. You might as well run through a brick wall. And he's tackled, Gamson. Gamson out to Cook. Tunks. Tunks shoves off one man and loses the ball. And Warrington, no, six again. Fans again don't like what John Halls was doing. He reckon the Warrington player touched it. You what hell, looking tired now, but still going forward. Ten yards out, Eagles now looking for another try. They know they've got to get something out of this attack. Russell. Russell shows the ball. Warrington get it back. Good play there. Looked like Mike Gregory dove on that loose ball. No, it was Bob Jackson. And Bob gets up rather slow. No wrong with Bob. Just playing the old soldier. And here's Dwayne Mann still going. Three tackles. Makes you tired when you've got to use three tacklers to bring you down. As Warrington now. And again, Oldsworth gets the wrath of the crowd. Bateman had a good game. I don't... Again. The fancy somewhere on the far side. A touch judge might as well not be there. Good running by Neil Armin. He shoves off Roly Poly Kellett. So Warrington now coming out of their own 25. Switches Drummond. Good play by Desi. He's away. Desi's going. Desi. Again though. Gamson there. Good cover tackle by Gamson. Warrington now. Last tackle. Mike Gregory. He's got Lyon. Cut run. Turner, but he can't unload. It looked like Desi was away. And again, the same happened as what happened at Bradford. The cover tackle surprised him, but it was the run he got through. So Warrington now, she's where he want to be, deep in the Sheffield 25. Let Sheffield do the hard work. And Panapa, who's come back on, remember, he was substituted earlier, and he's come back on. Scored a try against the Aussies in the World Cup for New Zealand, but he's having no luck today. Peter Tunks. Finding it hard now as the Warrington defence bring him down. Still on the Sheffield 25. Cook switches the other side, the other prop. Waddell 
Big boy, but again, he makes 10 yards going forward. Bringing the play out of the Eagles, 25. Back now, here's Powell. Powell switching it to Nioli Poli. Kellett, good pass by Kellett. And Warrington get it back. Oh, no, that was never a knock-on. No wonder the crowd are getting on to him. If I was Mr. Alls, I'd go to an opticians on Monday and have a check-up. Definitely went backwards, but there again. But he's given Warrington the head and ball. I don't understand that. I reckon, I reckon he reckoned that Sheffield knocked on first and no advantage was got. Again, he gets the packs apart. Hey, Ellis gets it in. Oh, Sullivan. Oh, Sullivan's Bateman, but he misses Bateman. Lyon. Lyon back to bet. Oh, Sullivan. Oh, Sullivan jinking. Feeds it to Mercer. Mercer can't get round his New Zealand compatriot, though. Sam Panapa. Mike Gregory. Acting half back. Picks it up and comes storming forward. Warrington looking for a try now that'll finish this brave Eagles side off. Ellis, Dwayne Mann, misses it, Megan Minter, gives it to Armin. Armin goes forward, runs through two players. Good run by Neil Armin. Ellis, O'Sullivan, O'Sullivan gives it to Turner. Turner finds one way, but good tackle by Cook. Warrington want this try, this'll kill him off. Ellis switches it back. Dummy, bad pass though, but Warrington keeping it alive. There's a chance now, Ellis jinks forward. No backing up. Just 15 yards out, John Holsworth signals, last tackle. And Warrington now should have done something there, but it's not over yet. Ellis, what's he going to do? He has a drop goal attempt, it's the sticks. All on again as Paul tries to pick it up, and he gets tackled. But the referee said this side of the line, so Eagles can play it. And Panapa will come forward. But the Warrington defence holds out. Pressure on Eagles now. They know they can't stay in there after they've not got the speedman to go the length of the field. So it's going to be hard work that gets them down there. Cook. Waddell. But there's Farnley in the tackle. Good play by Farnley. Assisted by Armin and McGinty. So watch for Tunks now. The other prop. That's what they're doing. They're using these big boys thinking Warrington's tired out. But Warrington's holding out. He heard something, and it's Rocky Turner, he clash of heads. Rocky Turner, and then it looked like clash of heads. Mick Cook holds it back of his head, and John Olsef does the wise thing. Stops the clock and shouts the fizzy on right away. Wise play by John Olsef, give him credit for that. Any head injury, and a player carries on on the field. It's dangerous at the end of the day, but Rocky's all right. Oh, fizzy all looking on. If I was Warrington, I'd set Rocky off now. There's only eight minutes to go. Bring on Paul Williamson or Gary Chambers. Start the clock, he says. So, Eagles still in their own 25. Pace, there's the kick from Pace. Gets it on, gets round Bob Jackson. But plenty of room for Warrington here. David Lyons, but Desi Drummond. And David leaves it, picks it up. He's got Desi with him. But I think Dave will have a run on his own. And he gets tackled. So, Warrington now, coming back again. Rocky up on his feet, glad to say, shakes his head, he's all right. Dummied by Dwayne, man, but Eagles don't fall for it. Two substitutes in the tackle this time, Kellett and Dickinson. So, my clock, we're coming up to nearly time. I make it, we've got about eight minutes to go, and it's Warrington 18, Sheffield Eagles 8, as the darkness comes on, descends on Widdersfield Stadium. But I'll tell you something, darkness won't be on Brian Johnson tonight, and Ellis there. Having a good game. I'd give it man at match today. Definitely man at match. So here's Kevin Ellis. Kevin Ellis to Turner. Turner to Jackson. Jackson's got Farnley outside him. But Bob Jackson carries on. Puts play. Last tackle. So Warrington now. Just inside the Eagles half. Looking to fan it wide. Turner gets a big kick off. All on. Michael's there. Makes a cock up of it. And a try! Gary Mercer's try, happy with that Gary, first try for a while, but he did well, Rocky Turner got the ball in the air, it went between Young and Maiko, either one, Maiko decided it was his, but he misjudged it and made a right mess, it bounced. Look like they'll be going back to Owlett and win nothing. So, Turner now, easy kick for him. 
Under sticks, I bet he's glad about this one. He's had some mad ones today, and he makes no problem with that. So, I make it 75. So, Eagles, despondent, coming back to the halfway line. So, no, it's David Nels, it's Nick, Sonny Nickel for Ian Russell, that. They must be drunk. Eagles use the substitutions up now. You remember? Nickel went off earlier and it was walking about, but he's come back on now and he's got to work now. As Ian Russell goes off and for a deserved rest, he's had a good game for Eagles, Russell. He's arming. Last five minutes. Like I say, the darkness is all round with the spool, but it won't be round Brian Johnson. He'll be one happy man. First win for six games. But let's not all gloom. Warrington, in most of them games, didn't really deserve to be on the losing side. And if they play like they have today, well, they'll get a bit more confidence and them half-backs are ticking over. Look for a rise up the table. So, gets a kick-off, good one. And Panapa makes a mess. But luckily for him, Michael's there to clean up. And he, can't, he gets round Wayne, man. Gives it to Younger. But Younger can't go anywhere. Tackle there. Again, Rocky Turner in and Alan Bateman. Here's Panapa. Working hard now, Panapa, but too late, maybe. Final minutes. Warrington in front, 24-8. And a valuable two points. Lift them up the table. All depending on how Oldham and Featherstone's gone on today. Warrington go fifth from bottom. Here's Russell. Russell running strong. It's Farrell who went off, not Russell earlier. Tony Farrell, the loose forward, and Nick will come on for him. So Warrington undressing Gary Chambers as Powell comes forward for Eagles. No way through. Sonny Nickel there. Rocky Turner there. Waiting for the man of the match. I'd be surpri very surprised if Chrissy O'Sullivan do not get it. Best game he's had. Long kick. This time David Lyon can let it roll. It rolls into dead and out of arm's way. So Warrington can restart on the 25. Gary Chambers, ready, come on. I think he'll come on for... No, Kevin Ellis has got it. Well, it could have gone either way. Both halfbacks, like I say. The engine room, they're ticking. The motor runs smooth. And this Warrington's engine room's run smooth today. They've had some brilliant... I mean, even though we've not had tries, we've had attractive play. They've let the ball do the work. And I'm sure that'll give them the world of confidence to carry on the rest of the season. Next week, run car home in Regal Trophy. Maybe Brian Johnson can experiment. Again, Desi Drummond receiving attention. Bateman does well. Inside again. Good play by Bateman. Strong lad, this. So, Warrington looking to add another try onto the points for McGinty. He's got Gregory with him. No, he goes on his own and he's tackled. Last tackle, says the referee, as Nickel brings him down. Mike Gregory acting half, back. Chrissy O'Sullivan, watch for the little kick. Little kick is away. Bateman, but Maiko and Younger, and this time Younger does well. Makes up for his earlier mistake, what gifted Gary Mercer, the tap try. Good tackling again there, Rocky Turner, he's played well too. Springing these forwards down, this is where they've got to be. And I'm a despondent chef, he'll be going down that motorway. And I know what it feels like after last week when we thought we had two points at the boulevard. We had that long trek back after getting beat when we'd been the best team for most of the day. But there's no mistaking who's in front today. Warrington 24, Eagles 8 as Daryl Powell gets a big kick off. No problem for David Lyon. Breakfast he has them for. No problem. Got Mercer with him. Gives it to Mercer. Mercer now running across field looking for some daylight but slips down and Waddle concedes the tackle. So, last tackle? How can he say last tackle? We've only just got the ball. And Bob Jackson comes forward. I think John Hall's just realised he made a mistake there. But only That was the first tackle. So, minutes ticking by. Injury time I make now. As Neil Arman, who's had a strong game. He can't get round Nickel though this time. And Gary Chambers and Williamson, they can't get on the field. 
Mike Gregory, Turner, back to Mike Gregory. Mike Gregory jinks through, good pass, but it goes behind, and Alan Bateman has to go back, retrieve it. He's got Gary Pace, and he says goodbye to Gary Pace. You're not going to catch me. And Kevin Ellis, he's had a bit of a duel with Gary Pace today. I mean, they'll be best of friends after two taffs. And a good kick off, good kick. That looks like it's going in. And that's a beauty. Kevin Ellis putting a, the final coat in on a solid display. Man at match, and here's the subs. Rocky's got what? Rocky's going off, and Desi. Watch the applause from the crowd as Gary Chambers and Paul Williamson take the place on the field. Listen, the crowd. Rocky's off, and De Desi. Both had good games. And Desi, unfortunate not to be on the score sheet as I make it. We're in the 79th minute. Russell. No, it's Nickel who comes away and he can't get round that man, Chris O'Sullivan. <laughs> Cook. Back inside to Dickinson, but no way through as Gary Chambers makes his first tackle along with Bob Jackson. Here's Waddell. But uh, he won't be happy going home with a losing packet. Dickinson, the other sub, and this time he's dragged to the ground. Neil Harmon. Looking a dejected crowd now, this is. Tunks all bunching, but gets it out to Russell. And big pack they've got, but Warrington's held the upper hand. Powell does a little kick forward, and who's there? Kevin Ellis. Bino. He can't get round the winger. Still going. What a strong lad. Coming in his own now, Kevin Ellis. Only just come to the game from Rugby Union, but mark my words, he likes this rugby league. It gives him more chance to run with the ball. And he's enjoying it. He loves every minute of it. He'd like to be out there for another 40 minutes, I'm sure, Kevin Ellis. He's had a beano today. And he's been saying that he'd like this, the Welsh team to get a rugby league fur team back together. And I'm sure if they did, Kevin would have no problem getting into it at scrum half. And he'd love that. And when you think about it, some of them rugby union converts now in the game, they could have a really strong team. It'd be interesting to see them take on England. Neil Harmon. Good play to Bob Jackson. Dwayne Man up with support. Bob Jackson. St Mike Gregory's going. Finish it off. Under the sticks. Mike Gregory, good run. When it looked like he'd made a mess again, he got up and finally went over. Ian Russell tried to tap his ankles, he did, but his momentum slid him over the line. And Mike Gregory gives the all the clout. Who's Gary Mercer? He'll throw this over. Gary's gone up, take it. Give him credit. Not leaving it to David Lyon. Gary said, give it here. Can he make 30 points up? So, Gary Mercer, simple conversion. Wants to get another two points on the board. He's already got a try. Should have no trouble. Straight between the sticks and the crowd go crazy. So, injury time at Widderspool. The gloom's in, the dark, the lights are bright. It's Warrington 30, Sheffield Eagles 8. And won't Brian Johnson be a relieved man tonight? So, getting in, ticking over nice, this Warrington team. Maybe we can have a good run in the Regal Trophy, pick up some confidence. And who knows what the season has in store for us as pace. Kicks it off and who's it to? His old mate, Kevin Ellis. Kevin Ellis gives it to Williamson, gives him a touch, clean shirt. Got to make the laundry woman wash his shirt. So, Green Men acting half back. Gary Chambers not wearing his hat, Gary. And there's the Utah. Brings it to a close here at Widderspool with Warrington 30, Sheffield 8. Scorers for Warrington. It's only Alan Bateman a try. Gary a try. Two goals from Rocky Turner and one from Gary Mercer for Sheffield. David Nelson got the try. Two goals from Gary Pearce brings the final score. Division 1, two points to Warrington in Warrington Furry. Sheffield Eagles 8. This is Alan Ellison, your commentator.
This is the first time I've been happy in six games. Wishing you all the best. I hope to see you next week against Runcorn.